You eat, you bike, and I swim. Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Marsiliese, Luca's character art director. I've been at Pixar almost 10 years. I've worked on Toy Story 4, Incredibles 2, Inside Out, Good Dinosaur, and Soul. My favorite part about working at Pixar is the people, and of course, the drawing. So today, I'm going to teach you how to draw Julia. So, first thing to note about our Julia is that her head is like a rounded trapezoid. Oh, do you guys need a place to stay? So you're gonna wanna ghost that in, nice and gentle. And by ghosting, I mean trying to keep your lines light and loose. And this way we have a nice light foundation that we can carve back into with some darker strokes. Now this is going to be a full body pose, so I'm going to just ghost in the rest. I've given a tilt to her head, and I'm starting now with the neck. Now the necks for most of our characters have what's called a reverse taper, so they're narrower at the bottom and get wider as they move up to meet the head. I'm gonna drop in a line of action, which is essentially the spine and I'm gonna ghost on top of it. I'm gonna start to indicate where her torso might be, her belt line, which is on the thicker side, her hips, and I'm gonna move down into her pants, which are like a very large bell shape. Swimming, cycling, and eating pasta. So you need a teammate. And now I'm gonna Ghost in a bit of her leg and indicate where her feet might be. Now again, <clears throat> as we continue the drawing, you may notice that these things shift and change, and that's okay. I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of a target. For her arms, I think it might be nice to have one hand pitched here on her hip. Get that elbow out energetically. And her other arm and hand outstretched. It's always fun to give a character a prop. And in art, we gave Julia a lot of fish. <laughs> si certo. Your reign of terror is coming, coming to, to an, end. an end. So what I'm gonna do is ghost in the shape for now. Don't worry about the details later. All right, so let's keep going. I'm gonna move back into the head now. I'm gonna indicate where the eyes might sit. And I'm gonna ghost in Julia's eyes, which are perfect circles. Nice and light. Fun fact about Julia's eye size, the bridge, they are the bridge between Alberto and Luca's eyes. Luca's eyes are the largest of any character on the show. Alberto's are much smaller and Julia's are right in between. I was wondering actually, is your school open to everyone? And indicate a look off to the side, like she's talking to somebody. And I'm gonna give her some very energized eyebrows, very excited. And I'm gonna drop in her very signature nose, which has a rounded bridge, a curve, and a straight along the bottom. That straight is a little too long. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna start to ghost in this fun, wide, lopsided bean shape for her open mouth. Yes, of oh, course! She's excitedly <laughs> talking about something. I'm gonna indicate her teeth, her upper denture. and the tongue seated at the bottom of her mouth. And 
Notice how the nose is grouped more with the eyes. That's on purpose. Now I'm gonna work back into the head. I'm gonna get her temple area and indicate a bit of a break where her cheek begins. Strengthen that curve of the jaw. I'm gonna give her two ovals on her cheeks for blush. We can give her her ears now. Now the ears on her characters favor the bottom of the face. They sit pretty low. Everyone in Portarosa pretends to believe in sea monsters. Okay, this is the fun part. Her hair. So we're gonna start that front bang, that front puff flush with the top of this eyebrow here. It's like a, a wad of tight curls. And the shape is like a rounded triangle. You'll notice a lot of triangles in Julia's design. I'm gonna tuck that under the brim of the hat, which I'm starting to ghost here, just like a crescent shape. And we're gonna indicate more hair coming out from under it and over that ear. We're gonna get the band of that beanie in place. And now, that really fun triangular hairstyle she has coming out from behind her head, and framing her face. Classmates from Genova, Luca and uh, Alberto. Alberto. And it's always nice to drop in a little bit of tone to make it pop. Same for the mouth. And I really like these softer pencils because it's so easy to shade. All right, so that's Julia's head pretty much. Let's finish up the body. So Julia wears a shirt that has a bit of a standing collar. Carve that out. And as we move into the arms and chest, Gonna drop in those cap sleeves. Now keep in mind as you work on the arms, we want a round, soft elbow. Try to avoid really sharp corners. Keep it all nice and soft. Okay, I'm strengthening that waistband a little bit. I'm gonna move over to that other arm. Soft elbow. Get her hand in there. Okay, maybe work on that fish. Get a little bit more love into that fish. There's the tail. Get the the lips. Get some X's on those eyes. Gills and some fins, and you can have a lot of fun here. There's no rules. Any fish you like. Julia's got some stripes on her shirt. I'm gonna lay those in. Big brass button on her waistband and some belt loops. Okay, now the cuffs. Now the cuffs of her pants are big. They're kind of thick and heavy, so it's okay to use your lines to indicate that weight. 
and they certainly do not have to be the same shape or size. Asymmetry adds a really nice touch to these designs. It's the rule. Ugh, rules are for <sighs> rule people. <clears throat> now, as I work into the feet, I'm gonna start to indicate a really thick sole to her sandals. They're wood. These are sandals that she works with, so they have to be durable. She works a lot with Massimo and the Pescaria, so she needs, you know, more practical footwear. I'm gonna indicate her cute, chunky toes. And I'm gonna get a strap in there. Thick leather strap on the top of her shoes. Brass buckle. Nice little detail. I'm gonna work back into the pants now with a front plot of placket, side pockets. Even add a little bit of top stitching if you like. And of course, we need to get her patch. Fun fact, when we designed these pants, we thought that maybe they might be hand-me-downs from uh, Massimo's childhood. Now we just need money for the entry fee. From my dad. So that patch is probably something that she needed to add because she ripped a hole making her deliveries or training. I'm gonna add a little bit of fabric buckling here because they're oversized. Okay, we can go through and Add a little bit of tone where it might help. Can add a little bit here to the pants. Nice and quick. A little something to the fish. And last but not least, you know, maybe she's standing on some cobblestone or That is our Julia. My favorite character, personally. She's done. Ciao ragazzi, a presto. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. You can share your drawings too on Instagram with hashtag drawwithpixar. Bye.